The tent city underneath I-90 near Division continues to grow, even though the city of Spokane prohibits camping in public places. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us now live from that location. So, Aaron, can the city physically remove campers? Uh, Mike, the city cannot physically remove campers. They do have several steps they go through to remove campers from under overpasses like the one here off I-90 in Division. That first step would be to find services and programs to help the people here transition to a normal lifestyle. About three weeks ago, the tents started popping up under I-90 at Division. A few tarps and sleeping bags gathered together, a place for the homeless to hang out and catch a few Zs. Since then, it's grown. So has its transient population. Anywhere from um, 20 to 40 or more a day. Sherry Turner says there's even more during the night, despite the police threatening to relocate them. Since I've been here, they probably came 10 times. To help relieve some of the more basic problems, the city moved in a honey bucket, which might have just drawn more people in. They came and emptied the other day, but it was so full to the top. You couldn't even sit on it. It's illegal to camp in the city, so Spokane's first attempt at relocating the group is to send in community housing and services to help find programs to get the homeless off the cold concrete. The next step is police citations and warnings. The police will show up and they'll say, okay, you guys all gotta go. We got one hour, we'll be back. And then they don't come back. But the city says it won't physically remove the tents. Even if they did, the homeless here say they don't have many places to go. Well, if the city comes through, I don't know, but if they say go, go, go or go to jail, I'm out of here. <laughs> the city does have a 10-year plan to eliminate homelessness as required by the federal government. They're also asking social service agencies to come up with a proposal to eliminate the homeless and put them in permanent housing. However, one thing is for sure, just because you move a tent city like this one doesn't mean it goes away. Reporting live downtown, Aaron Luna, KXLY4, HD News.